So in a previous video, I went over axis twist and the problems that it can create with a 3D printer. Today, we're gonna to go over axis twist compensation calibration. So it's important to keep in mind that axis twist compensation doesn't only affect the Creality K1 series machines. It affects machines across the board from many manufacturers. If you're having an issue where one side of your bed is just printing too high and you're having adhesion issues, you might be dealing with axis twist. And for that reason, I put the link to the wiki down in the description down below. So with axis twist compensation, it's important to remember that we use a version of Clipper that is both genuine and recent. And that's the reason we're gonna be using Simple AF by Pellcorp today. For the Creality K1 machines, Simple AF is the closest you're going to get to a genuine Clipper experience. Now to run this calibration, all we need to do is make sure the axis twist compensation module is in our Clipper config somewhere. Now with Simple AF, this is already included for us in our probe configs. Now all I'm gonna do is put the axis twist compensation calibrate command into the console and you'll see that the print head will move to one side of the bed. Now once the print head is moved to this side of the bed, it's gonna open up a dialog window and ask us to step down the probe. Mm, 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 mm. And right about there feels exactly where I want it to be. So I'll hit accept and we'll go to the next probe point. So now that we've used the feeler gauge to calibrate our three probe points for access to its compensation, all we have to do is hit save so the config will save and restart the machine. So now that the machine has been restarted, we're officially done with the calibration. Now, if you didn't get a chance to check it out before, check out the original video on axis twist compensation to see exactly how axis twist affects printers. If you're having an issue with your print bed where one side is just printing a little bit too high and you're having adhesion issues and you can't figure it out, make sure to check out the link in the description down below because axis twist compensation can really help you out. And it really is that simple. This is probably one of the easiest calibrations that you could do for your 3D printer.